Hello and uh, welcome to this a new video on uh, we are going to talk about in this video about how to prepare for a specific job role. Imagine you have a you interview coming up shortly in a week's time. So the whole question is how should you go about preparing for this new job role that is coming up a week from now. Right? Ready for that? Wonderful. So question is there are two questions one is what is it that you should prepare for and how do you go about preparing fair enough so the, the we've gone through this in this course uh, of ours in which we have talked to you about how to uh, prepare and do well in an interview and there we said uh, you need to uh, basically prepare for three types of question one is the introductory question right like tell me about yourself why should we hire you what are your strengths and weaknesses and these are typical standard questions and the answers for this uh, will change from every role to another role while there will be some commonality based on what qualities do you have and we will see how do they differ the second would be the questions related to the role role specific questions right so how would you perform that role is the kind of central theme running there and third thing is if you have done well in the interview then you will be lucky to uh, be asked the closing questions like when can you join what is the salary you're expecting what is the location preference you have so these are the three types of questions that you need to prepare for so how do you how do you prepare for these uh, questions so the best is to start by looking at the job description i mean most of the companies uh, uh, would have a job description. Uh, rarely it happens a company doesn't have a job description. You can al always ask for a job description. Uh, as soon as you get your interview fixed, if you don't have a JD, you can say, hey, ma'am, sir, can you please uh, let me know? Can you, if you have a JD, it would be nice to get a copy of that. And you will get a copy of that. So once you have a JD, what you need to do, understand is a couple of things from there. Because your answers to the first quest introductory question will and the role specific question will depend on what is there in JD and what is it that you have it is an intersection of those things so there are few things the recruiter is looking for and out of those many things few things either you have all of them in you they're either written down in your CV or unwritten down ingrained in you so you need to pick those things that are common to that. So first is to analyze the job description itself. And you begin by reading the job description line by line and figuring out three things. What are the attitudes? Attitude means the personal qualities in that they're looking for. Example, are we looking for a hard work, intelligent, a creator person? So they have in one sentence, they've laid, raised three requirements. Hardworking, creative, right? Uh, and one thing more I said, I forget. So, so these are the kind of things that these are what is called the attitude. Second thing, they're looking for knowledge. Because why are they hiring you? They want you to work with certain attitudes in life, using the knowledge and skills that you have to produce the results of the job. So the second thing would be to understand what knowledge are you. And that they would come in various forms again. The person should know about SAP person should know about uh, uh, brand management, person should know about process excellence. So these are the knowledge areas that you can gather from that. So put another section on what are the knowledge area required. Third would be the skill, the things that you will be able to do. The person should a be able to uh, un gather customer requirements. The person should a be able to map the processes. So there comes the skilling part. So look for and read in the JD uh, all the three things. And a well-written JD will mention them separately. But if it's not a so well-written, it might be written all over in the paragraphs that are contained in the JD. So once you have these uh, uh, attitude, knowledge and skills noted down, uh, you make a list of these. And from this list, you pick five things that you are so good that even the recruiter wakes you up in the middle of night at two o'clock and say, hey, hey, Ron, tell me about yourself. Those are the five things you will talk comfortably. So pick those five things that you are super strong on, that you are very good at. 
and this 5 is an indicative number but not more than 5 and use these five points as what is called your pitch points these are the points where you will sell your own self your capabilities your candidature to the recruiter that is coming up next week right right and uh, you and you note these down then what you do is you you read through the remaining job description read more specifically the role the work that you would be doing and for each of the role that is described like you should be able to build relationship with customer or you should be able to improve the processes make a bullet point and then ask leave a question how would i do that how would you do that how would you do that and like this you generate a set of seven to eight to ten questions that capture the essence of the work that is required on the job so now you have a list of questions that you know introductory questions you have the pitch points that you want to talk about and your pitch points of the five points would be the same answers for tell me about yourself what are your strengths and weaknesses what are your uh, 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 your why should we hire you so and the whole idea is to use these five pitch points to kind of communicate in a nice gentle and authentic way that these are the things i'm good at now one of the question that is asked still let me about your strength and weaknesses now strengths these five pitch points are your strength now what about the weaknesses now weaknesses you kind of skip I would suggest you not to talk, go openly and talk about your weaknesses. So you skip the weaknesses in the first round. If the interviewer comes back and say, hey, I don't thank you so much, but what about your weaknesses? Don't you have any weaknesses? Oh, sure, sir, I have weaknesses. I, I, my apologies. I didn't, I, in my uh, communication, I forgot to tell you about that. And then you talk about one small weaknesses for which you have figured out a plan of action because as soon as you and it should not be very consequential to your candidature, right? For example, if you are going for a uh, business uh, 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 business development position, right, and uh, that requires a lot of listening, you say, sir, I tend to listen more than to talk more, sir. I think that's a weakness. Now, it may be weakness, it may not be weakness. So you kind of put it, and then if the person says, okay, if you prepare for an answer of what are you going to do to correct it? So that also you must be ready with that. So you, and then what you do is once you, that you practice. Now you have a list of topics, list of questions to prepare, and you have the answers jotted down in bullet points. You go through them once, and you should, you should by the, by the time you are here, you should be in a good position to answer this question. Then if you practice, there are a couple of ways you can practice. You can practice in front of the mirror. You can pose yourself as a question and answer or you can go to a skilled interviewer like me and say hey sir i would like i have a mock interview coming up uh, a week from now could you be uh, would you can we, could you find some time for me to do three mock interviews so three is minimum i suggest and you can do that with the interview at the round of uh, two days every two days get feedback from your first mock interview see how what you need to change and do it do the modify your approach in the next interview and uh, like this you keep going for three rounds and three is such a wonderful number uh, that i have used this number for people to prepare at time Udaipur. and student who did more than three flew through flew through uh, they just did uh, exceptionally well through the interview round so practice if you can't get a mock interview and if you're not very comfortable sitting in the front get hold of a friend who is reasonably mature and can give feedback and listen uh, ask him or her to ask questions and give you feedback on that so practice so note down prepare and practice and uh, you would be ready to face your next interview well and uh, fly through it